And normally serve him only, pray, and he did directs so his. Just, just clarification. Jesus directs his disciples and the people him to worship, pray to the Father only. In fact, he says, "This is eternal life that you should know that you, referring to the Father, you are the only true God, and Jesus Christ is the one who is sent." So according to Christ, the only true God is not the Godhead. It's the Father he calls Father, right? He calls That's someone Father. Gospel. No. In John 17, 3. John 17, 3. I know the verse. He says... But I don't think you quoted the whole thing. Okay. In 17, 3, he says, This is eternal life. I'm paraphrasing. That they should know... Not a good idea. Because okay. the scripture is very specific. Um, we can show it. I mean, I've, I've read this... I've read this many times, fine, I've read this many times and it's not the first time I'm having a discussion with a Christian um, individual on this issue. The verse is absolutely clear that it refers to the one Jesus calls the Father to be the only true God. If this is the case, you have to direct your prayer and your worship. But did you read the rest of John 17? I have read... It's all about becoming one. No, no. It's all about believers being one with God. God. So do you become one God as well? When you become one with God? He says, He said, just as I am the Father one, I pray. I said I become a son of God. So you become God? I become a son of God. Okay. Becoming son of God, does it make you God? No, I didn't claim to be God. Right, but he said, I am the Father one. Does that mean one in God, divinity? Can I just say, it doesn't matter what you say, the truth is the same. It's been the same yesterday, today, it will be forever. But our and concepts and, differ. And I don't have a problem with any of it. You should take your arguments to God. And so in the day of judgment, you, you're saying in the day of judgment, if somebody worshipped a tree or a monkey, yeah. a Palestinian man like Jesus Christ, or a black man like Krishna, you're saying it's okay, it's, it's up to the people. I, I'm not saying it's okay at all. I'm saying Jesus Christ is the At his time, at his time. There's not a. But it's not a problem if he was the only way during his time. In fact, all messengers were the only way to God during their times. You have to go through the messengers of the day at that time. Did he not say to his disciples, 
I have many things to tell you. You can't hear them now. Many times. So it's not new when he appears on earth as a man. Is he? Is he still here today? Is he appearing today? Or did he leave the important message to someone else? He says, you cannot bear them, but when I go, I will send him and he will guide you unto all the truth. So he's not the eternal messenger. There's someone else after him. This is in the book of John as well. But he is not the final one. He says, I have many things to tell you, but you can't bear them now. But when I go, I will send him. If I don't go, he will not come. So he is not the eternal messenger. He is referring to someone else after him. It's one God. He did he not say? Did he not say? Did he? Do you not agree? He said, I'm going to my God and your God? So he has a God that he's going to. It's the same God that we're going to. Yes, it is, but that's his God too. Is that a problem? Yes, because God doesn't have a God. How can you believe God? He is speaking very clearly. He says, I'm going to my father and your father and to my God and your God. That means he is teaching you, the people who believe in the scripture, that I have a God that I'm going to. And he's telling you to worship that God. He says, my father, serve him only. Are you suggesting? So all the things are quoted from Jesus is meaningless. How do you know I don't have the Holy Spirit? How do you know that? Maybe you don't. No, no, maybe you don't. How do you know? So it's become a question of personal experience, right? I know that I do because of Right. If if you have the Holy Spirit in you, you should be able to I know that you are just do all these miracles. Do you know that? The test of the Holy Spirit are the true and believer. How do you know that I don't? Okay, so you can move a mountain, drink poison, it's not gonna hurt you. And you the way it works. And I'm sorry about your time is up. I have to go. See you later.